hello everyone uh, welcome back to our uh, second video of the e 278 final project presentation series our project is uh, image warping and in this video i will show you how to do a, a model sim simulation of a, of a verilog code so first open quarters to create a new project in file new project user and click on next then select your working directory so for me it is 278 project and image folder i selected the folder uh, make sure your uh, top level module and the name of the project is the same so the name of my top level module is tmu once that is done, I can add my files later on and then select the family of uh, select the family of your uh, uh, FPGA kit, Cyclone 2 click on next uh, for simulation select model sim and there is our HDL click on next and once this is done you can click on finish So this is done. We can see that uh, a project called TMU has been created. So the next procedure here would be to include files into the project. So right click on files, add or remove files in the project. And then go to wherever the files are. So my files are then particular folder just to control a because these are uh, tmu.v is the main module and these are all the supporting files that i have used in the main module so i've taken that they have all been added then click on apply okay so you can see that all these files have been added so next next part of the uh, procedure is to compile this design so click on compile design so as you can see it would take some time but design would get compiled so let us just wait for some time You can see our analysis and synthesis is done and uh, when you click on compile design it would and uh, synthesize the design it would do placing and routing it would uh, generate programming files so that we can use it on uh, neos 2 processor uh, it also does the timing analysis and uh, it gives out a netlist basically so we are in the second part of the compiling procedure. It is getting done. Just a few moments more, I think. Also, at the end of the uh, compilation, if you want to see uh, the compilation report, we just click click over here to uh, look at all the specifics of uh, the compilation. So 
almost getting done. Uh, the first two procedures are the ones that take the longest time. And so lots of uh, files, so that is the reason it's taking a long time. So yeah, synthesis is done, place and route is done, assembly is done, it's doing timing right now. Timing is done. Super. So we have a compilation that is successful. So that means there are no logical odd syntax errors in our current code. So once that is done, we can just add in a test bench file so again right click on the files part uh, go to the si simulation part under EDA tool settings there click on compile test bench click on a particular test bench so click on new test bench my test bench name is db underscore dmu so add a test bench so I just select wherever my it is under test there we go so once you add that to the design click on ok click on ok so Apply that to a test bench and click on OK. So once that is done, click on Tools, Run Simulation Tool, and RTL Simulation. Or you could just directly click on this particular button here. It would open a model film so that we could run our simulation there. So as you can see, module sim is getting loaded. And it is compiling the whole design. It is it is uh, doing the compilation and super. So as you can see here, it is reading in the whole uh, image matrix as mesh read, and then uh, it would do the simulation so in a short while we would be seeing waveforms on this particular screen so another way to uh, add in a test bench would be to uh, click on compile and add it manually uh, but that that is kind of a longer process so for now we would be uh, following the the easier process i think we are almost at the end of the next reading process there we go simulation is done and as we can see here As you can see here, uh, this is the clock. Zooming in for a little bit more clarity. So, this is our simulation output that we get for. Uh, the whole uh, for the whole procedure uh, thanks a lot this concludes the second part of our uh, video